wait, can everyone hear me? <laughs> Might have to come closer. <laughs> All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for coming out today um, for our groundbreaking ceremony at the Pre Peer Improvement Project. My name's Rebecca Yanis, and I'm the Director of Planning and Development for the City of Dunkirk. Um, on behalf of Mayor Rosas, the City Council, and the City of Dunkirk, I want to welcome you all to Dunkirk's Pier. Um, today, we're here to celebrate some major improvements that are underway. And before I get started, I just wanted to acknowledge the fact that exactly one year ago today, we celebrated the groundbreaking of Wright Park and that major project. Um, there's so many great things happening in the city of Dunkirk right now, and it's really exciting. And I want everyone to join me in applauding Mayor Rosas for his commitment in making these major improvements possible for the city. I want to welcome and acknowledge the presence of some of those that are with us today. Um, I want to welcome all of the staff from Empire State Development, specifically Mo Sambundu and his whole team. I also want to welcome um, our our uh, county exec uh, our county executive couldn't be with us today, but um, George Borello for all of his support, um, Assembly Goodell for his support. Um, Kevin Muldowney, our District 1 legislator, for his support, as well as our councilman, Don Williams, Mike Civiletto, Marty Bamato, Sean Heenan, and Andy Wallison for all of their tremendous support for this project, as well as all the city staff that are here today and, and all of our residents and everyone that's joining us today. Thank you for all coming. Um, the Peer Improvement Project has been a project that we've been working on for the past three years. Um, Mayor Rose has really wanted to highlight the city and the waterfront and knows how much of an asset it was. So in 2016, when there was technical assistance funding available, um, the city and the village of Fredonia went in together on an application to ESD for some technical assistance from the UB Regional Institute. And out of that study, we had what was called the Central Connections Plan that came about. And a part of this plan included some different projects that would help catalyze economic development and advance the overall vision of these two communities. And Dunkirk's Pier was one of those, Central Avenue was one of those, as well as Barker's Commons in the village of Fredonia. So after we recognized that these were the important projects to highlight and move forward with, we started gaining interest from our Harbor Commission, from our local community residents, and gaining input on what they would like to see at the pier. Um, and through this public participation process, we included it within our Brownfield Opportunity Area Plan, which then we took and we moved forward and we put into a Downtown Revitalization Initiative application through the state. And Based on that, in 2017, we were awarded funding through the Smart Growth Funds for $2.5 million for specific projects to enhance our waterfront, enhance a private project, and then also include a better connection along Central Avenue Corridor that connected the village, the college, and the city um, to bring together more people to Dunkirk's downtown and our waterfront, and vice versa, to move people back and forth across that corridor. So when we were awarded these funds um, through Governor Cuomo and Empire State Development for the projects, uh, we, we finally had our six public meetings that we held and our final plans were put into place. And now we're here today to um, see the project forward and, and we're ex excited to have NOVA, our, our contractors working on the project. Um, and. We're excited to see the project complete this August. So I just wanted to um, thank everyone again for all the support and to next invite Jeff um, from Barton and LeJudas up to speak about some specifics on the peer project. Jeff? Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, my name is Jeff Nadge. I'm with Barton and LeJudas. Uh, we're part of the design team. Um, so some of the key highlights on the pier out here is we're transforming this into more of a pedestrian enhanced environment. We're going to have new, uh, new accent pavements along the edge of the pier, new uh, marine elements with ladders, tie-up rails. Um, we'll also have uh, some new lighting out here. 
We will be retaining about 30 parking spots out here, but the rest will be more of a pedestrian kind of festival, multi-use mixed space. Uh, there'll be some architectural elements as well. Uh, right about here, there's gonna be a new gateway structure to the pier. Uh, so that'll allow vehicles and pedestrians through. It'll be a nice celebratory element at the beginning of the pier. Um, as well, we're working together with uh, uh, Ed Schobert of Labella and uh, Mr. Pringle on Holiday Harbor, his new building going in, so we're coordinating contracts with that. Um, so just on behalf of the uh, B&L design team, uh, it's been our honor to work with Rebecca, the mayor, uh, the entire city staff, uh, the community. Um, being, it's been an honor to be involved in this project. It's such a transformative project. Uh, I mean, we're confident that the uh, city of Dunkirk the visitors using the waterfront will find it, find the enhancements beautiful, functional, and uh, one step towards another brighter future of Dunkirk. So thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Yep. Thank you so much, Jeff. And next, I'm going to welcome Mayor Rosas to say a few words. Thank you. Uh, I just want to start by thanking everyone, all of you, for coming out uh, and enjoying this weather here. Uh, as we break ground here for our peer project, I just want to thank everyone that's been involved. We've had a lot of people, uh, you know, our city staff members uh, that have been involved with me and our development department for so long working on this project. And, and I want to say that there were some people that were pushing back on this project in the city here. I even heard that there was going to be some picketing here today. Uh, but I can tell you that I stand firmly behind the efforts of our team here to bring this project. This is something that's needed. My vision when I took office was that we would enhance our, our pier, we would clean up our beaches, we would improve our parks, and this is all part of that process. We're looking to bring more people into our city, and we can't do that if we don't have our, our areas taken care of. So again, I thank all of you for coming. I also want to thank our Governor Cuomo. Uh, a few years ago, I went up to Albany. I explained to him what my vision was. Uh, he sent the Secretary of State out here. I brought her here to the pier, and I showed her what we wanted to do and what, what it was like. And uh, she was very helpful in helping to convince the governor that uh, we should receive two and a half million dollars to do some work here in the city of Dunkirk. So I'm very proud of the relationship that we've developed with the state, the elected officials. Uh, our assemblyman, Andy Goodell, uh, has also been a partner in this uh, with me. And I have to mention that as well. Uh, but, but I also want to mention again the hard work, time, and effort being put in by our development team, our DPW director, our engineer, everybody involved in this. It was a team effort to bring it to construction mode, and we're very proud of that. Uh, one of the first things that I did when I came into office was uh, we looked to have a marina operator that knows what he's doing and wants to be a partner with the city. We did that in bringing in Mr. Charles Pringle. I'd like to acknowledge his presence here today. And, and we're doing a lot of work to uh, make sure that our waterfront can be highlighted. We want to spotlight it. We want to bring more activities over to our waterfront. Um, I was asked about the Music on the Pier concert series that we enjoy all summer. Uh, most of these concerts will be held at Memorial Park, but we're also going to take advantage of this opportunity to highlight some of our other parks, and we may be moving Music on the Pier uh, once in a while, we're going to move it maybe to the Point and Wright Park. So we're excited about this opportunity. Uh, we know that this project uh, is scheduled to be done uh, by August 10th. And right after that, we should be having our boat races here in the city of Dunkirk. So there's a lot of activities to enjoy here in the city. And uh, again, thank you all for coming. And thank you for our development team. I appreciate it. Thank you. Next, I'd like to invite Mo Sambandu, the Assistant Director for New York State Empire State Development, to say a few words.
Thank you. Uh, can we give Rebecca a round of applause? I mean, she has done such a great job here in Dunkirk, and I'm so happy and excited uh, to see this uh, project coming to fruition. Um, and to our mayor, uh, I, can't, I can't say it enough that Mayor Roses is one of the leading champions for Dunkirk. From the first day he came into office, he made it very clear to us that he was going to be a champion and an advocate for Dunkirk, and we are very excited to partner with you. So thank you. Um, I'm also joined by two of my colleagues, Jean Williams and Nancy Borkhardt from our office, uh, who work on uh, most of our projects. So thank you for being here. What an exciting day in Dunkirk. It's, it's cold, but a very exciting day. Uh, Governor Cuomo and the entire Western New York Regional Economic Development Council uh, believe strongly that we should be uh, championing accessibility, vibrant and sustainable communities across the entire region. That's why the Smart Growth Fund, uh, which, is, which is paying for this project, was established as part of the Buffalo Billion uh, a few years ago. Dunkirk was one of four recipients uh, of the first round of smart growths that were uh, allocated as part of the first round in 2017. We recognize your peer and harbor project as important, ready to go, and we wanted to help you and help, help you see this project come to fruition. These improvements are important because it will transform Dunkirk's uh, waterfront, reconnect it with the city, and establishing it as an important destination, not only for the community, but for also visitors who are coming to the region. Uh, the, re the redesign will also expand green space, improve the pedestrian experience, while also reconnecting it with the waterfront trails and enhancing public safety. I was also told that uh, there used to be train tracks here a long time ago, uh, which, uh, which I think I, it's historic to, uh, to see that uh, part of the waterfront's history. Um, so on behalf of our governor and our commissioner, uh, Howard Zemsky and the Regional Economic Development Council, we are proud to be part of uh, this important project here in Dunkirk and that uh, we're looking to uh, uh, see the uh, ribbon cutting in August. Uh, thank you, Mayor, and thank you, Rebecca. And I can't wait to come back for uh, in August to see uh, the completion of the project. So thank you. Next, I'd like to welcome our Chautauqua County Legislator, District 2, Bob Bankowski, to say a few words. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, a year ago, we were down at Wright Park on a same uh, wonderful day last year. And if Rebecca keeps bringing these projects to Dunkirk, I'll stand out in a snowstorm if she wants me to. This is just another fine work by Rebecca and the uh, development department for uh, a project that is long overdue that will uh, enhance the city of Dunkirk. And uh, I'd just like to thank the mayor. I mean, he, we uh, have a nice collaboration with the county. She's reached out to the county before for help, and we've uh, worked hand in hand to help bring projects like this to fruition. And uh, I just can't say enough, but it's just gonna be a wonderful thing for the city of Dunkirk. And lastly, I'd like to welcome Councilman Civiletto to say a few words. Please bear with us, we're on a tight schedule, so. <laughs> I'll make it short and sweet. Thank you so much to everyone who came here from um, not just the, the city, but from outside of the city. Thank you so much for, um, uh, to the mayor and, to, and seeing his vision come through is, is just a fantastic thing. As a member of the Economic Development Council or committee and a member of the city council, um, I thank him and thank Rebecca and all of the people who worked so hard to get this done. 
And uh, I think we found a new city song, and it's the sound of, of heavy equipment going throughout the city. Because every time that we, uh, we have an event like this, we've got heavy equipment ready to go. So um, I like that, that that's happening and that we're changing the face of Dunkirk, and we're going to become one of the premier spots on Lake Erie. And it's just fantastic to see. Thank you. And before I conclude the ceremony, I'd like to again, um, on behalf of the city, the council, the mayor, thank Governor Cuomo and ESD for granting uh, the city the $2.5 million in smart growth funds for the project. Um, the project couldn't be made, uh, couldn't be possible with the help, the help from ESD's project managers, Gene Williams and Mike Fitzner for helping through the entire process. Um, Mo, you have a really great team. Keith Ewald, Jeff Nadge for their team from Barton and LeJudas on the design and engineering phases of the project. Gino and Tom from Nova, our contractors, thank you so much for your work. We're excited to be um, working with you and look forward to the end results. And lastly, I'd like to thank the mayor, the council, DPW director, Randy Woodbury, Andy Bowen, Mike Perbition, all the DPW staff, my staff specifically, E.J. Hayes and Hector Rosas and all the City of Dunkirk staff for all of their help and hard work on this project. <laughs> so thanks everyone. We'll just have a quick photo op and then uh, thank you for coming out today. <laughs>